it doesn't matter if you just passed out from the 12th or if you are in first year second year third year if you are in fourth year okay then it's a bit late but this video is for everyone because in this video i'm gonna share the five things which i could have known earlier but still in the end i mean fourth year so i got a good placement i'm gonna sharing all of my engineering journey how i did it how i experimented with my life but still ended up with the good placements with the good memories i'm gonna uploading those videos in this channel regularly so do subscribe because i want you to not miss these things because if you are able to learn from someone's four years of experience in just five to three minutes of videos then why to miss it right so let's start the video first point your network is your net worth yes you heard it right so i used to think just grades matters your skills matters that's it but no bro it's not like that because a random guy which you meet in your class or in a tech fest or in any webinar or seminar he will be very helpful it doesn't matter if he is in your age or your junior or maybe senior he might refer you to your dream company so connect collaborate and build your circle so it may be online or offline so don't be an introvert i was an introvert once but so in the first year i decided i will be uh, an extrovert and i'm pretty good and if you want to connect with me you can uh, go to the linkedin which i will give the link in the description so you can connect with me and it's not just about referrals you can also ask their guidance what the mistakes they have done how to improve they will give you some piece of advice which they got to know after many years so that will save most of your time a uh, number 2 first year feels chill but don't waste it see in my first year i wasted a lot of time so i didn't learn any skills i just did time pass even i can't even say waste of time because uh, i made a lot of memories you can say that but you should also learn side by side skills uh, in my first year i didn't learn anything i started with the web development but i uh, stopped after 3 to 4 months so i'm telling you start with the web development because you will be seeing a front end a result of what you're doing so that will give you motivation and after that you can start with the dsa some people what they do they start dsa in the first year uh, then they go for the development and before those two first you have to learn a language i started with the c then i got to know c++ is the better then i started the c++ i just finished in the 3 days start exploring your interest your passion for example i started making videos content creation editing etc and if you are good at it you will easily get internship and you will start making money and most of the people get internships in their fourth year so if you are interested in tech and you want to get internships in just your first year or second year then you have to watch this video this video literally gave me a lot of insightful ideas how you can get internships in your second year the person who got internship here she got it in her second year that too in a razor pay which is a very pretty good startup so i will give the link of this video in my description you can go and check this out and after watching this video i got to know their college which is nothing but newton school of technology i got an update This Newton School of Technology is going to open in the Bangalore. So students who are joining this college will be getting an exposure to that tech because Bangalore is a silicon city, AI, robotics, entrepreneurship and a lot of things. So students who are in this NST they are getting internships in the first year and second year itself and not just that they are getting paid stipend from 20000 to 1.25 lakhs a month. And if you want to join Newton School of Technology they have entrance test which is known as NSAT. and this entrance exam will be going on the 10th and 20th of this june so if you are really serious about your tech career then i recommend to join this nst and you can give their entrance exam and i will give the link in my description and comment section so you can check that out and number 3 your branch won't decide your career this got hit me when i joined my first year and completed my first sem because in our college i saw many companies come they do not shortlist people based on the branches they say they are open for everyone so it matters your skills so if you are in 12th and you haven't joined any college yet then uh, i would suggest go with the top colleges with the lower branches and not too lower branches like mechanical or civil i'm here i'm not mentioning that mechanical civil are lower branches if you are interested in coding then please do not join um, these branches try to go with the cse ise iml eid or cyber security then uh, electronics max to max triple e and et and after that you can uh, jump to the csc or aiml after your first year if you get pretty good cgpa like 9.8 or 10 cgpa but if you can't change your branch if you are stuck in ec or et then uh, you can also side by side study about the computer science how coding works and all of those things so that you can easily apply for the software companies as well and number 4 do experiment with your college life this is the most important thing that many people miss they only stuck with the academics and i'm the guy who did 
everything who tried to fit in the every type of shoes which i get i started content creation i did video editing i did the content strategist i did freelancing you might know tarun speaks he appreciated me he gave a gift to me that saying uh, i got a second rank in a national content creator now we have the second one akash congrats man congrats if you are watching this later know that we are celebrating this for you right all of us are clapping you silent clap bhai tu clap karna <laughs> so i did a side hustle made some extra money there uh, and i paid my own college fees in my third year and not just that i did trading graphic designer core member of the google developer club volunteered many many hackathons went into hackathons or won some and there is a club known as nss i went there that blood donation camp or oh, going to the laborers there are a lot of bunch of things i i literally tried everything and uh, we just had a farewell two days ago and and our college gave a certificate that i'm an outstanding extra curricular person you can also showcase this in your resume as well that you not just in the academics you can do everything because that will showcase your leadership and you are and you can handle bunch of things like multitasking like the Uh, number five, communication is better than just knowing technical skills. So I'm speaking to you, right? This is what the communication skills, because that's how you convey your message, your language, you express your ideas, right? Started this YouTube to improve my English, and now you can see it's pretty much good. Even in placements, if you speak very fluent English and you are pretty confident, and that will make you unique. So that's it. I will uh, see you guys in the next video, and do subscribe. And uh, if this video was helpful, do share with your friends. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.